Friends, today we have a special episode entirely dedicated to configuring Fidelity FX Super Resolution or FSR. We will tell you everything you need to know about it, including the history of its creation and which presets to choose. This is Farmskins. Enjoy the video. For those of you who want a quick answer, here is a brief advice. If you have a video card like GTX 360 or higher, or an equivalent from AMD, then you most likely should not enable this option. The damage to image quality may be greater than the benefit of additional frames. For everyone else, this video is for you. Let's take a more detailed look at what FSR is and what it's for. Fidelity FX Super Resolution or FSR is an alternative to NVIDIA's DLSS technology. Unlike DLSS, FSR does not use neural networks and relies on algorithms, making it more accessible for different video cards, including AMD competitors. However, FSR loses to DLSS in terms of upscaling quality but still leaves a decent footprint. In CS2 we have four presets available – Performance, Balanced, Quality and Ultra Quality. As if with DLSS, FSR can be easily useful for owners of mid-range or lower video cards such as the GTX 1030 or 1050 Ti, as well as for systems with integrated graphics. However, keep in mind that high performance requires a powerful processor, as FSR improves performance exclusively for the video card. In and out, 20 minute adventure. Gabin's store section on our website has been updated, and we got limited cases related to Rick and Morty Season 7. Click the link in the comments and conquer the universe with farm skins. And keep in mind, wabba labba dub dub Before we move on to choosing the right FSR version for CS2 at different specs, let's take a look at the main FSR versions that AMD offers. FSR Ultra Quality is the highest quality FSR version. It offers the sharpest image quality and preserves the most details. FSR Ultra Quality is recommended for systems with more powerful video cards and processors. FSR Quality strikes a balance between quality and performance. It provides good image, sharpness and detail, while retaining significant performance. FSR Quality is great for most players who need stable frame rates while maintaining good graphics quality. FSR Balance takes a more balanced approach to quality and performance. It provides reasonably sharp images and details while boosting performance. FSR Balanced is recommended for mid-range gaming systems where both graphics quality and performance matter. FSR Performance significantly increases performance at the cost of some graphics quality. It provides core images, sharpness and details, allowing players to run games on less powerful systems with high frame rates. FSR Performance is suited for low-budget PCs and laptops. Now that we've looked at the main FSR versions, let's move on to choosing the right one for you. Your choice should depend on your system specs and personal preferences for performance versus graphics quality. If you play at high resolutions like 4K and want to boost FPS, you may consider the quality or balance presets options. But for those playing at lower resolutions like 1280 or 960 in CS, even quality preset can severely degrade image quality. If you have a powerful gaming system and you want to enjoy maximum graphics quality, Quality, FSR Ultra Quality is your choice. This will provide you with a stunning visual experience. If you prefer a balanced approach between quality and performance, FSR Quality may be the best option. You'll get good graphics quality and stable performance. If your system is mid-range, FSR Balanced may be the optimal choice. This will provide you with decent graphics and performance at medium level. Finally, if you have a lower budget gaming system and performance is critical, FSR performance will help you achieve high frame rates on less powerful hardware. So depending on your needs and system specs, choose your suitable FSR version for playing CS2. This technology allows every player to enjoy the game in vastly different conditions based on your system. Well, that concludes it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a like. Thanks for watching. See you next time.